Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I am doing weekend sales today. I'm making this video on a Sunday, but it's not going to be going up until this coming up week. So these are Friday and Saturday sales. All right, so I had a pretty good 48 hours worth of sales, just under $400 in profit, which is good. And I'm just going to be wrapping and talking you through my things. Okay, so the first thing that sold are these Brooks sneakers. I picked them up a couple months ago. I believe they are women's. Yes, women's size nine. Brooks, kind of retro style. And I sold them for $45, which was an offer. I had them listed for $50, so $45 was good. Actually, it's, and that sold on eBay. eBay, I ship ground, so I do not use priority mail boxes, which are free. So I sold these shoes for $45, and I profited $38, and that was an eBay sale. And let's grab the label going to Littleton, Colorado. All right. So how has everybody's sales been? Mine have been no rhyme or reason, really. These Uggs, which were mine, they're size 11, and they run about one size, for me, a little bit big. I sold them for 60, profited 52, and they are going ground shipping. And what I use for ground shipping for heavy duty shoes like that are these Atkins boxes because I, that's my breakfast and Atkins shake usually. So they are going in an Atkins box. And I said they are, they sold for 60, profited 52, and they are going to. Oregon. They are going to Oregon. I've actually had an increase of Oregon sales, just like I started saying all my sales are going to Texas, and then I had a week without Texas sales. Okay, so label. Those are going to Oregon. All right, the next were some J. J. King blue lapis earrings. And I'm going to show you what they look like. I bought these in a jewelry bag and I probably, um, you know, paid about a quarter for them. And J King is only sold or it used to be sold on, um, HSN and they're real, um, they're real mine. They were mined, blue lapis mining. And usually you could look up and find out there's like a code in there and you could find out where they were mined, the stones. I ship them in these old vintage VHS boxes. And someone just came right out and bought these for $65, which is what I had them listed on, on Poshmark. And so I profited after fees, of course. Poshmark takes a 20% commission. And I profited $52, which was very good. Very, very easy to... Um, to take pictures of jewelry a lot of easy easy to take pictures of vintage jewelry and they are off to New Jersey okay next we have a bundle order and I am going to insert a picture of this beautiful Hawaiian dress which I just thrifted maybe a week ago size 12 vintage Hawaiian dress and she also um, bought these gold dipped gold dipped leaf earrings as well as these little gemstone elephant earrings and so I usually put them with a little bit of Easter grass in here make them look special and pretty and let's get a sticker, which I will link in the description where I buy these things. And what I'm going to do with this, it's very pretty. And these um, sold in a bundle for $75. And I have this really pretty green paper. 
that I sourced, oh goodness, a couple months ago. And so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it just to make it look a little more special than it already is. So this was two pairs of earrings and a dress. The dress I had listed for 60 and I think the earrings I had listed for 25 a pair. And so she bundled it and asked me what was the lowest um, possible price for all three. And I really was just kind of hoping to get um, 60 for that dress because it was so pretty. I only paid five. And so I sent her a $75 offer, which she did accept very quickly, which left me with a profit of 60. See how pretty? And so I thought that was a great turnaround. And so when she gets it, I'm going to ship it in a padded priority mail envelope. And when she gets it, it'll be like a little present. So this is going to, let's see, California. Yeah, going to California, which my California sales are always on the higher side, actually. And I think it's just because things are so expensive in California that people turn to the secondhand market to get a deal. And it was a deal for her and a deal for me. Priority mail envelope, done. All right, next is a, well, take a, I will show a picture of it. It's a Spanx bra and I forgot to pull it and I'm not gonna bore you with pulling it. <laughs> but I sold a Spanx bra, 32D, sold it for actually $32. Profited 25 going to Florida and I will pull that off of camera. Okay, moving right along. Pink shoes, I sold these men's. Pink, light, light, light pink. Suede leather Piro Massetti, size 39 pink loafers. You know what? Maybe they're not men's. Maybe they're women's now looking at them. Yeah, they're women's. And they are going to Illinois. And they sold on Poshmark so they can go priority mail. Okay. Pink loafers. I do have some men's pink loafers. I guess I thought they were those. Okay. So I took an offer for these of $50, which left me with a profit of $40. Okay. And there we go. Moving right along, I sold now two bras. Both the same size, 44D, and she bundled them up. And again, she asked me what would be this, um, the um, lowest price. And I think I have them for 30 each. Not sure why, but I did have them for 30 each. And I sent her an offer of 50, which she accepted, and I profited 40, $40. So bra sales, I've definitely picked up every week, selling bras, going to New York. Okay. And besides that Spanx bra, which I will wrap off camera, I sold this, which I will leave um, list a picture. And she just bought it, I think this morning. And I don't think she paid yet, because I'm not seeing my label printed out. But it did sell and it sold for an offer of $68. And I haven't printed the label, so I don't know how much profit yet. And I paid $5.99 for it. And it's a Brian Walker linen cotton blend maxi dress. And so I'm gonna be shipping that. And there you have it, guys. So it was like 10 items, 10 sales, and over the weekend. And if there's anything that, um, that I sell later today, I will make another video. So thank you for watching. Let me know below how your sales have been um, and your closet names so that, so that I could also check it out because I like to watch reseller videos of what's sold and thrifting videos myself. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.